So a lot of people are surprised when they first get to know me and they hear me make the statement that for a long time I actually hated fiddling. Um, it's, that might seem kind of contradictory now that I'm a fiddle jam teacher, have this book out and all about fiddling, but let me explain. I was classically trained. Uh, I went to, co uh, went to college on a full scholarship, the whole nine yards, and was being trained to be a symphony player. And everybody I knew who was in a symphony was pretty much miserable. They hated their stand partner. And they didn't like the conductor. Um, they were fighting with the management about their contract. Um, they were played the same music the same way every time. It's like, that wasn't my personality type. So I bailed on the whole school thing and dove into rock and roll head first. But now, fiddling. To me, fiddling, at least in the old school, bluegrassy kind of thing, um, reminded me more of the classical attitude, where most fiddlers in the bluegrass world don't improvise much, to my experience. They play the tune, they might figure out their own fancy version of the tune when they get to take their ride, or whatever they call it, um, but that's it. Improvising is kind of actually even frowned on, I'm told on, in fiddling competitions. So that to me had the same exact attitude as the classical that I was trying to rebel against. So that's why I hated fiddling. It's not that I hated the music, I just hated the, the way it was played. Now fast forward a number of years, a couple decades actually, and I came out with a fiddle jam book after being a rock and roll and fusion player and all these, getting really into improvisation myself. And my peers said, you know, you really ought to go and hang out at the Marco Connor fiddle camp. Just pay and go as a student and hobnob with that crowd and let them get to know you. And I went, okay, I kind of went with a chip on my shoulder. I paid my money and went and uh, did get to meet a few people and hang out with Daryl Langer and a couple others and meet Mark, of course, and give him my book. And I'm not sure how far, how much good it did my career, but it was kind of fun. But the, the eye opener for me was the chip on my shoulder got knocked off. Fiddling to the young crowd coming up, this was in uh, 2002 or three, somewhere in there, um, the young teens coming up was a whole new refreshing experience. They were using the old bluegrass tunes, the old fiddle tunes, just as a jazz exploration. This was something that was like, aha, for me. I was kind of sick of the standard jazz thing, which are always has tunes from the 1940s and 50s, it seems like. Sometimes the 30s they dip into, and that's it. The jazz has become stale. It's straight ahead jazz, at least, I think. And this was a way to deepen the roots of a jazz attitude a couple hundred years deeper. So I said to myself, now this is something I can get my arms around. Those kids, they take old Joe Clark, say, for example, and they play it, you know, the head once or twice like a jazz uh, band would, and then they'd go off in the Neverlands for 20 minutes or more, everybody taking their own turns, improvising solos over the same tune, and eventually come back and play the head and end. It was the funnest jams I had had in a long time, and I have to thank Mark for, for making that happen for me, whether he knows it or not. So it changed my attitude about fiddling. I started embracing a bunch of these tunes. Now, am I a bluegrass fiddler from those hundreds of tunes? No, I'm still not. I can hold my own on a, on a gig. Um, it's still not my main thing, but I love fiddling now. It has deepened my roots in a different way, and the branch of the roots. And that's why I kind of hated it at first, because it represented that same old stuck it's got to be the same way every time. This is history, and that's all there is to it. I am not, as Daryl Anger said, I am not a curator of a museum. I am a creator by choice. I create in every moment when I play and create things. So I hope that answers that weird title. <laughs> Blessings. <laughs> Thank you.